have come all the way from the United Kingdom to Africa in their Land Rover, yes. So they drove all the way through the continent and down to Africa in the Land Rover. They didn't go by air. So they have blessed us with a week in Abuja. Thank you. And let's hear from them how the journey is going. Okay, well, good, good morning, isn't it? Good morning, yes. Uh, we've had, uh, we set off on the 4th of mm -hmm. June. Okay. Just over three months ago now, and uh, from uh, our home county of Lancashire in mm -hmm. northwest England, and we travelled through uh, France, through uh, Spain, through Portugal, all the way down to Gibraltar, and we caught the boat from Gibraltar over to um, uh, Tangier in Morocco, and we travelled we, through Morocco, uh, yeah. through Mauritania. Yeah. In we spent we spent quite a bit of time in Morocco. Yes, about yeah, three, four uh, weeks in Morocco. Yeah. Our mm -hmm. son, eldest son, well, our only son, yes. <laughs> came, came in. Came to join us for three yeah. weeks. Okay. And uh, then from Senegal to uh, to uh, Mali, mm -hmm. Mali to Burkina Faso, and we drove into Ghana, and through Togo, Benin, and into Nigeria, okay. and here we are in beautiful Abuja. Amazing. Yeah. So you've taken a year out of your lives. We have, yes. What were you doing previous to this? Okay, you start, Leslie. Well, I, uh, I've been uh, working with children for the last... 70 maybe. years? It seems a very long time. 70? <laughs> a very long time. Uh, but I've worked for a church-based nursery in okay. a two-year-old room as a supervisor. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had uh, about 20 children every day. So, two year olds, they keep you on your feet. So, mm -hmm. it's time to, uh, have, to a change. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. have a rest. For the yeah, so, day. while Leslie was doing this very important work, uh, I was uh, a church pastor okay. uh, in England for 20 years in the same church. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think the congregation said, Stephen, it's time for you to move on. We've got very tired of you now. They and did so not. They, 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 <laughs> maybe not quite that, but. Um, but yeah, after 20 years, we just felt, uh, Jamie, that we wanted to take uh, just a pause, okay. just to stop for uh, 12 months, uh, to uh, refocus, mm -hmm. to have a little bit of a rest, to see each other a little bit more, and uh, to follow our dream uh, okay. of crossing Africa in a Land Rover. In Amazing. Year. Yeah. And you put part of the Land Rover together, didn't you, the parts and all Yes. That? The Land Rover is 32 years old uh, now. And okay. so about eight years ago, it was getting, the chassis was getting, mm -hmm. uh, I know you know all about cars here, but the chassis yeah. was getting uh, rotten. <laughs> and so uh, I took it all to pieces mm -hmm. and got a new chassis and then rebuilt the Land Rover into oh, wow. an Overlander. And it took you seven years. Amazing. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, how are you finding Nigeria? Do you know, honestly, hand on the heart, it is really good to be back. Honestly, be uh, back. So you were here before. Uh, good question. Yes. So um, my parents were missionaries with the church in northeast mm -hmm. Nigeria for 18 years. So when I was okay. born here. My brother was born in Plateau State also. We got married in 1987. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we came out to Nigeria together as a couple with our mm -hmm. one-year-old baby girl mm -hmm. in uh, 1990. She had her first birthday. First birthday in Nigeria. Nigeria yes. And two of our, mm -hmm. the, uh, our other two children were born, both born in Plateau mm -hmm. State. Mm -hmm. okay. And we were here for seven years. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to Ghana for a year yeah, before going back to the yeah. UK in 1990. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. Okay. So, what's the standout experience of the whole trip, trip so far? Yes. Standout experience. Mm. Uh, apart from uh, falling even deeper in love with my wife. Oh. Uh, very, very important to say that. Um, <laughs> what tips do you have for fellow travellers who would think of taking this journey? I think, for, I think for me, it's just being very patient. Mm -hmm. um, you rush around in England, and you don't really have much time for people. And okay. I think the difference over in, in the African culture mm -hmm. is that you do have time. And that's when, you know, in Africa they say you can take your watch off. Yeah. Time doesn't matter. People matter. Mm. And, and that is so important. Mm. 
Mm. You know, mm. your culture, but people matter. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in England, if somebody comes to your house, you can say, well, I, I'm sorry, I haven't got time now. I've got to go for a meeting. But you never do that, you mm. know, and, mm. uh, and that's so important. Mm. And we forget that, mm. yeah, don't we? Yeah. Um, I think one of the things that we've learned as, as, we, as we travel mm. you know, these last three months is that, uh, you know, people are hugely important. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we in the West uh, assume wrongly that, that the whole of Africa is one culture, mm -hmm. one people. But uh, no, you know, every country has its own culture, its own customs, and to, ha and to have the time mm -hmm. to, to meet people, mm -hmm. and, to to, greet. and to greet people, mm -hmm. and to hear their stories, and to share mm -hmm. our stories, uh, it, it, I think it, hasn't it, it's shown us more and more mm -hmm. that whatever the color of our skin, mm -hmm. uh, whatever our culture or, or our country of origin is, uh, whatever our religion uh, mm -hmm. might be, uh, in actual fact, we all have the same human needs of, yeah. of joy, of peace, mm -hmm. of relationship, mm -hmm. With each other, and uh, I think that's what we've been privileged to learn more mm. and more is to have time mm. to hear and to meet with people yeah. uh, from whatever culture uh, or color of skin we are. So, Wonderful. yes, I hope that's okay, Jane. Yes, thank yeah. you very much. Oh, I want, to, I want to say one yeah. more thing uh, we've, we've had a real privilege of living in, a, in, a, in your home here in Abuja mm. for, for a week. And it's been a beautiful. It is a beautiful home. We've been very warmly welcomed here. But I also want to mention that Etienne, uh, mm. the cook, is a fantastic cook. <laughs> His food is excellent. So thank you, Etienne, also for <laughs> all the food. Thank you, David. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. And um, I'm tempted to join you in your land room. You are very, you are very welcome. welcome. Mm. Come and join yeah. us anywhere and you like. I might meet you somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. You You're welcome. welcome. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Although it's very slow, our ladder is very, very slow. That's fine. <laughs> so watch this space. I am definitely going to join Stephen and Leslie on the road. I just need to figure out where I will meet them and what part of the journey. And since they're on the road till June 2018, there's lots of time for me to decide. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because there's lots of interest in interviews like this coming up in the future. And thank you. Enjoy those pictures from their trip. <laughs>